all of you welcome back to a course soft computing our today's topic of video is introduction to adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system so till now we discuss about uh, various topics in our soft computing especially we discuss about fuzzy logic uh, then we discuss about fuzzy inference system uh, then we discuss about uh, unsupervised unsu learning and unsupervised learning so these are the various topics which we have already discussed in this course of soft computing now in the next unit uh, we are going to discuss about introduction to adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system so just try to understand what is the adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system actually this nfs is a combination of uh, fuzzy logic as well as a neural network so in the very first unit we try to understand that there are three main components of soft computing uh, the three pillars three basic pillars of soft computing are there one is a fuzzy logic that fuzzy logic is used for decision making purpose uh, then we have used a neural network artificial neural network is used for the purpose of learning and uh, optimization and for the sake of optimization we have genetic algorithm genetic algorithm is used for optimization of a solution whatever the solution that we are going to generate in order to optimize that solution we require a genetic algorithm so based on these three pillar there is a sub computing so we discuss genetic algorithm separately we discuss uh, fuzzy logic separately and we discuss about uh, artificial neural network also separately now it's time to fuse the things so in this nfs architecture what we are trying to do we are trying to uh, add the benefit we are trying to combine the benefits of uh, fuzzy logic with the benefits of a neural network so that we'll get some another uh, uh, particular concept which will be more beneficial so we are trying to just combine the benefits of both these concepts so that we'll get a, a new concept so that new uh, concept is nothing but a adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system so let's try to understand more about this so as i told you it's a fusion of fuzzy logic and neural network so in case of fuzzy logic what we have seen uh, in case of fuzzy logic we have fuzzy inference system that fuzzy inference system is being used in uh, various embedded system we have just taken the uh, example of a washing machine so first of all we try to understand how fuzzy inference system will work and uh, what are the steps that it follow so for that fuzzy inference system we are providing the crisp input but the thing is that crisp input is not able to understandable by this fuzzy logic or uh, your system is not able to understand the crisp input so for that purpose uh, you will make use of uh, input membership function so that uh, you try to map this crisp value to the uh, fuzzy value and that process is called as a fuzzification means during the fuzzification you are trying to convert a crisp value which is understandable by human being but not able to understand by machine so it has to be converted to the uh, fuzzy value and that process is called as a fuzzification so fuzzification will make use of a, a different input membership function where we try to map the input input value with respect to fuzzy value after doing the fuzzification now the next step is what rule formation or use of a rule means uh, in case of fuzzy logic we have seen a fuzzy uh, fuzzy reasoning system where we have seen how to formulate the rules because rules are important because for uh, automation of uh, any aut uh, automation of any embedded system uh, we require uh, some fuzzy uh, we required uh, what do we require for uh, embedded system we require some rules for automation of that uh, embedded system we require some rule according to that it will work just like we have taken an example of a washing machine in case of a washing machine we are giving cloth as a input but initially we don't know uh, how much uh, dirty it is in order to measure the dirtiness see dirty is our first fuzzy value the cloth which you are giving that is a crisp so uh, that cloth is a dirty but you don't know exactly how much dirty it is S so for that purpose what you need to do you need to convert your crisp value to the fuzzy value so in case of a fuzzy value you need to measure the dirtiness <coughs> okay we can't say uh, that dirty is zero or one because uh, if it is uh, zero means uh, 
your cloth is dirty and one miss maybe it's not but uh, suppose your cloth is uh, not uh, fully dirty it is a little bit dirty average so what about this so for that purpose you need to represent it with the fuzzy value itself so uh, first of all crisp input will be there you need to convert this into fuzzy value by using fuzzification then there will be a rule uh, just like that in case of a washing machine uh, you need to decide how much amount of water you required how much amount of detergent you required uh, how much time does it require to clean the cloth so all these rules we have to set so that rule is set according to the input that you are providing so maybe the case that if the um, uh, weight of the cloth is 5 kg then obviously you require 5 liters of water uh, sub and uh, you require a 10, uh, 10, 10 spoon of detergent so based on that rule has to be formed and it is to be set so according to that machine gets take a decision by its own so that is a automation so this is what a rule means after falsification uh, there will be a rule uh, knowledge base uh, th after that we got some output but that output is in a fuzzy value the thing is that fuzzy value is not understandable uh, for human being means human being what a crisp value so again defalsification will be there and finally you got the output because multiple rules is being applied so you need to combine the you need to combine the uh, output generated by multiple rules so that you will get a final output so this is how fuzzy inference system works that we discuss uh, then we have seen uh, artificial neural network so we have seen that in case of artificial neural network we have uh, input layer we have hidden layer as well as we have uh, output layer as well so in case of uh, input layer we are providing some input then there will be hidden layer and number of neurons are there which is responsible for processing of a data and finally in the output layer you got the output so in order to take a uh, appropriate uh, uh, decision you are making fuzzy inference system and for uh, for a process of learning you are making use of neural network okay so we are making use of a, a neural network to make this and then in the output layer we got the output so this is uh, this is how we understand how fuzzy inference system work and how neural network works because uh, this nfs architecture is a fusion of both these concepts so again we can say that it's a class of uh, adaptive network that are functionally equivalent to fuzzy inference system just to explain about it uh, then this architecture represents the both Sujeno and Sukamoto fuzzy model because uh, we have discussed about uh, fuzzy inference system and then we discuss about the models various models of fuzzy inference system so there, there we discuss three model uh, Sujeno model, Sukamoto model so out of this uh, two model we are using over here Sujeno and Sukamoto Sukamoto and this the concept of NFS was given by uh, Mr. Roger Jong in the year of 1992 then what is the main objective behind introducing this particular concept that we need to understand so the main objective is what to just integrate the best features of fuzzy system and the neural network the integration of this thing is uh, our main objective we want that the benefits of all the benefits of uh, fuzzy system can be combined with the benefits of neural network so that we'll get some new concept new idea so from fuzzy inference system we got a representation of prior knowledge and from neural network we are focusing on back propagation so back propagation is responsible for uh, weight updation means there will be a gradient means there is a in case of neural network uh, there is a process of forward propagation and backward propagation in the process of forward propagation you are going to calculate the uh, value of uh, uh, output uh, actual output and there will be a expected output so always we try to understand or try to calculate the difference between actual output as well as the uh, expected output so that we'll get a gradient and according to that we are going to modify the weights okay the weight has been modified accordingly and uh, finally we try to get the uh, expected output as we are expecting so backward propagation mechanism derived it from the neural network and uh, representation of uh, knowledge uh, is derived from the fuzzy inference system or fuzzy logic then we try to understand the rules so here we just understand we have formulated two rules over here so x is a uh, input variable x1 x2 just like that we have input variable a1 a2 b1 b2 these are the fuzzy input sorry or fuzzy variable and these are input variable x1 y x1 x2 is a 
इनपुट वेरिएबल वेर एज ए वन ए टू बी वन बी टू दीज आर दी फजी वेरिएबल एंड फाइनली वी गॉट द आउटपुट सो दिस इज वॉट आर्किटेक्चर इट्स अ फाइव स्टेप प्रोसेस फॉर एन एफ एस आर्किटेक्चर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इट्स अ इनपुट स्टेप वेर वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द इनपुट सो इन दिस केस एक्स वन एक्स टू दीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज अ इनपुट एंड दैट इनपुट हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू फजी वैल्यू एंड देन सेकेंड पार्ट इज अ इफ पार्ट रूल्स then rule and then then part and finally output so this is a you need to understand that this is a five step process that we need to follow in a nfs architecture so we try to understand it in detail so you will get more clarity from this particular architecture so initially what we have initially we have the input layer so here we can have uh, input uh, x1 x2 up to xn means uh, n number of inputs uh, are there then there will be a membership uh, layer means i just told you that we can make use of a membership function to converts your cris value to the fuzzy value for that conversion uh, you are going to make use of a membership function and that's uh, this is what a fuzzification layer we converts where we convert your cris value to the fuzzy value after that there will be a normalization layer actually where uh, rules will be there what are the rules that we have formed just we have taken the example of washing machine in terms of washing machine and number of rules can be formulated that suppose the weight of cloth is 5 kg then uh, water will uh, water requirement is also 5 kg uh, the weight of cloth is 5 kg then we required at least uh, 10 spoons of uh, uh, detergent powder so according to that rule has been formed so that whatever the fuzzy value uh, that we have generated during the fuzzification that will be given as input to that particular role rules so rule has been applied over there so we have seen that there will be also a knowledge base where all these knowledge rules will be stored so that rule will be applied on this fuzzy value and then you will get some kind of output and then that output will be given as a input to the defuzzification layer because uh, n number of rules we are applying over here so every will rule will try to generate its own output now what we need to do we need to just uh, aggregate uh, this combine this all output together we need to combine all these output together so that we get a final value over here so there will be a defuzzification during which we try to convert that uh, fuzzy value to the crisp value and then uh, in the output layer we got this uh, crisp value as output so this is how the fusion of this so in this case you can see these are nodes are there input layer hidden layer and the output layer so majorly in the hidden layer we are applying the rules over here so that's why we are saying that it's a fusion of uh, fuzzy logic as well as the neural network because in neural network we have seen there are n number of layers are there input layer output layer hidden layer every layer consist of n number of node every node is responsible for processing some kind of information uh, generating some of kind of output and all the nodes are uh, connected with each other okay so every time you need to understand that in case of nfs we are just trying to uh, combine the benefits of fuzzy logic along with the neural network now the next thing is that nfs architecture with the sujeno model just uh, initially we understand that nfs uh, is represented this architecture represents the both sujeno as well as sukamoto fuzzy model so now let's discuss how we have to represent it so this is what a uh, uh, representation we already gone in while we discuss fuzzy inference system model so there we discuss about sujeno model sukamoto model so there we discuss so same uh, representation will be there so here Uh, x and y there will this this will be the input variable where a1 a2 b1 b2 these are the fuzzy variable and w1 and w2 we can say this is the value of a weight uh, or a final output that we are generating so here uh, we have been provided this uh, output value as f1 or f2 and uh, whenever the rule has been from uh, in that case you need to take a decision uh, whether and is applied or or is applied suppose it is and is applied then we can say intersection and intersection is minimum uh, suppose uh, we are using or or means what uh, union and union means what maximum value so we have to take this so already uh, we discuss about this if you have any doubt regarding the sujeno model you can go through the previous video so that your concept of sujeno model gets clear so here i am not going to explain it in a deep i am just giving the overview that in case of sujeno model uh, we are going to generate this as output for this first rule and uh, we are generating the output for second rule then we are calculating the weighted sum of that okay 
finally we are using the weighted sum in order to get the final outputs now this this is a model of sujeno we try to map it with the nfs architecture because in case of nfs architecture it's a five layer uh, it's a five layer a process just we have seen x and y is the input a1 a2 b1 b2 these are considered as a uh, fuzzy variable uh, then layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 and layer 5 will be there so just we initially we, we have seen this architecture so we are trying to map it out input variable we are providing then there will be fuzzy vacation uh, where we get the fuzzy value then fuzzy value will be used for processing by applying different different rules then we got the output uh, where defuzzification will be takes place we try to convert that fuzzy value to the crisp value and finally we are try to combine all the output uh, which is generated so that we'll get the final output because it's a weighted sum over here you can see that uh, finally you're getting the output as a f so this is how we try to map this nf nf uh, nfs model to this sujano model then similarly nfs architecture with sukamoto model so in the sukamoto model we have seen that we are making use of this function at the output layer to represent it here we are using this particular function to represent its uh, output of a particular rule so again same kind of representation will be there x and y these are the input variable a1 a2 b1 b2 these are all the fuzzy variable which we have been applied and as per the rule make use of o and or or we are taking it a maximum or minimum so finally we got the value that w1 is nothing but a difference between these two w2 is difference between these two and finally we got the output and that output is being combined by uh, this weighted sum uh, weighted sum of this so here we try to calculate this this is a w1 uh, output getting from the first rule is f1 uh, w2 this is a difference between this two w2 f2 divided by w1 plus w2 so i told you that uh, uh, just we are calculating the weighted sum of this in order to get this and uh, just uh, similar to that uh, sukamoto model there is a representation of nfs uh, architecture where similar kind of thing is there as compared to the Sujeno so, model x and y is the input a1 a2 b1 b2 these are the fuzzy variables that is being applied in the phase then in, in internal structure there will be a rule and finally we got the output for every rule and we try to combine it to get the final output so this is how nfs architecture is represented uh, with a sujeno model uh, as well as we have represented with the sukamoto model uh, this is uh, another uh, representation of uh, NFS architecture for two input Sujeno model, two input Sujeno model. So here we see X uh, and Y, A, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, all these are the fuzzy variable. Then the hidden layer will be there where actual processing will take place in the output layer. We got this uh, various output for each rule and finally we got the combining the output of each rule we got the final output so this is a another representation of uh, nfs architecture for two input sujano fuzzy model so i hope you understand the concept of nfs architecture so lastly i can say that nfs is a combination of neural network as well as the fuzzy logic it takes uh, benefit of fuzzy logic that is decision making uh, that means how knowledge is being represented and from the neural network the process of learning that the process of back propagation through which we try to uh, change the weight value of the weight and so that we get the uh, final output and uh, there should not be any kind of difference between the expected output and actual output thank you